And over to Jesse Ritka for a look at the Storm Team forecast. What Not exactly you? back to school weather just yet. What? No. I know, right. Some kid, well, Wait given our winter, some kids just got out. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> right? what, yeah, they extend the year a little bit. What happens if they come up with a new cartoon character that's going to be the hot rage when school starts? Right. <sighs> right? I don't want to talk about that yet. We haven't even started summer really feeling like it. I guess today starts to feel like it. We did have a cold front swing through last night. Did bring a few showers and thunderstorms across mainly south of I-94 overnight. But really those storms were inhibited by the uh, cloud cover that we had yesterday. We've got another cold front on the way. Just really not analyzed on the map yet. I'd say it's right around northwestern Wisconsin down through Iowa and into Nebraska right now. Showers will develop along that and that will continue to swing through southeastern Wisconsin. I think mainly during the late evening hours should be good for doing some grilling. Maybe some of those softball games you may be going to or soccer games. World Cup fever still going on. We've got the sunshine right now, though, and we do see dry skies as we go throughout the rest of the evening hours. I think late this evening after about 9 p.m. That's when we're looking at a better chance for showers starting to move in. Before then, some folks... Enjoying this day. Nine to nine is your uh, UV index for today, so don't forget to slap on the sunscreen. Some folks, of course, are extending their holiday weekend to include today, and not a bad day to not be at work. 83 degrees for our high today, and it's feeling warmer because we have that humidity. It's starting to decrease, though. Our dew point at midnight tonight was 71 degrees. Now our dew points have dropped into the 50s, so that humidity is going to be dropping. If you're headed out tailgating, though, still a little bit maybe on the sticky side. First pitch, though, 78 degrees, and it will be a chance for showers and thunderstorms moving in, I think, mainly after the Brewers game tonight. So, again, watching those dew points drop today, tomorrow even more comfortable, and then Wednesday and Thursday, really just pleasant dew points. Those are going to be in the low 50s and maybe even some 40s, which is just very dry, comfortable air. It's just going to be a little bit on the cool side as well behind this cold front. So, timing it out again, shower and thunderstorm chances along that cold front. Tomorrow, I think we'll see partly cloudy in mostly sunny skies and could see a shower or two develop during the heat of the day. But then things cool down. We look at high pressure sliding on in. That's going to push away the clouds and drop the temps because this high pressure is coming from Canada. You know that means cooler air on the way. So if you like the 80s, if you like the sticky conditions, you've got to get out there today and enjoy it. This is the last 80 degree day on the 10 day outlook because that cold front that swings through tonight, that again will not just bring chance for showers and thunderstorms, about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch. It will bring much cooler temperatures and a little bit less mugginess to the air. Tomorrow, 77 degrees, still feeling a little bit like summer. This is still seasonable for this time of the year with a pop-up shower in the afternoon. Nothing severe for us. And then on Wednesday and Thursday, just cool and dry. It's going to be a struggle to hit 70 on Thursday. I'm being generous, though, keeping us in the 70s. We do warm up just in time for the weekend, and it's not going to be a washout for Bastille days or for the South Shore frol frolic. So don't go canceling your plans. Just keep in mind there are chances for some stormy conditions as we go into the weekend. All right, Jess, thanks very much. Keep an eye on that in today's now.